What is this? Ew, get off. <laughs> hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. So as you know, I recently was alerted over to the integrity side. It's no secret that those dolls are truly magnificent and superb. The attention to detail is amazing. The faces, the clothes, the realisticness of everything, it's glorious and fabulous. That being said, I do always have um, a soft spot for Barbie and everything that she stands for. In my opinion, she was the original. She was the OG. I just was um, sort of feeling nostalgic for the original days of Barbie, you know, when she was sort of a bit on the extravagant side. So I started to look back into Barbie archives and see what um, I could find that would sort of bring back some of those nostalgic days of the better years of Barbie, shall we say. I have for you guys the 1991 edition of the original 1959 gay Parisian Barbie. She is a full porcelain doll. She has a beautiful navy polka dot bubble dress on, and she is styled the exact same way that the original from 1959 was styled. Porcelain Barbie has been sitting here um, at my place for a while now. And I do also have a porcelain Ken. So you guys will have to tune in very soon to see what he looks like. I did buy her from a third party vendor. She is supposed to have never been removed from the box. So I am excited about that. Oh wow, this doll originally went to Fairbanks, Alaska. Huh, let's see what we find here. Ooh. Okay, so she doesn't feel very heavy in the box. <laughs> It doesn't feel like anything's even in here. Right away, I'm feeling a little bit disappointed. Uh, I don't know why, I guess I had this hope that she was gonna be like super heavy and all that. The bottom of the box says Barbie. The front of the box has the colors of the French flag and the Eiffel Tower is shaping both the A's in gay and Parisian, love that. Um, her serial number here is on the back. Let's get her out and see what she's all about. Oh, I see her little dress. Oh, I see her little stockings. Cute. Ah! Here is her doll stand here. Her certificate of authenticity. She opens just like this. Ooh! Wow. Hello, darling. How are you? There she is in her box. Her eyes are almost like cartoony looking. They're so big. Ooh, she is porcelain. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Loving this navy and white polka dot, beautiful. Love the little bow detail down here at her knees. This definitely is a very bubbly bubble dress, super cute. Love the faux fur. This really has been maintained in very, very beautiful condition. Now I have styrofoam all over me, great. Without further ado, let's get her out of this box. Um, oh, wow, how easily she came out, huh. Her ponytail is encased in plastic and the tape has turned nice and brown, almost liquidy, so we will take that out stat. I believe the original doll was in blonde. Ooh, these earrings are gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and take this padding out from behind. Okay, oh wow, there's a little bow back here too. I'm gonna have to weigh her to see how she compares to the silk stones, but she does feel kind of solid. It does feel like a silk stone now that I think about it. I thought I would pull out my kitchen scale and weigh Miss Gay Parisian Barbie. So because she's porcelain, she should weigh a little bit more than all of the dolls that we've seen so far. Okay, wow, 8.79, do you see that? I'm going to take um, a cocktail dress who we recently reviewed and I'm gonna see how much she weighs now she is also fully dressed so um, that will give us an idea of the variation of the two dolls okay there she is oh wow she's exactly the same wow you guys in this lighting she just looks so regal and so magical does she not do you see what I mean about how her eyes are almost cartoony looking? They're so big the way they're painted in, but I love it against her super pale skin tone. She is gorgeous with this really, really dark jet black hair. Gorgeous, right? So here she is, fully dressed, beautiful jewelry here, beautiful faux pearl necklace, beautiful little faux fur shoulder wrap, 
love that i'm excited to see what the bodice portion of the dress looks like underneath this there's her little purse it's a gorgeous little velvet mustard clutch um, with a little gold clasp she does have white gloves on and a beautiful taffeta dress that is so cute and so 1950s i love so much the fabric actually feels really nice as well beady beady little slip on shoes there um, just like the original 1959 doll did on the bottom here you can see a beautiful bow that has a little bit of a white lining to it as well and here is the back of the dress there is another little bow detail back here and then there is a zipper that closes the dress so the craftsmanship on this is just beautiful and then there's her hair a nice big curl here with a little bit of thread right there um, beautiful hair and then here is her little veil how cute is that there are two little beads in there and a little bow beautiful soft tool that is creating a gorgeous little um, bonnet type of veil absolutely obsessed i went ahead and unclipped the little shrug oh my god it's so cute on the inside wow original barbie tag it's lined in a beautiful light pink silk um you guys that is so freaking cute oh my gosh the necklace is beautiful there's a gorgeous golden clasp here that just is so so pretty i almost want to put it facing forward here is the little accessory pack here the little purse is darling oh how cute it's like in a mustard velvet cute with a little gold clasp does the clasp open and close it looks like it could yes it does how cute and then the whole thing is lined in white silk i read that this is a fine bisque porcelain and from the looks of it i can definitely concur that it is uh, there are no stains on it it's very beautifully cast um, the texture on it is like magic it's like butter i'm gonna go ahead and take off one of her gloves oh look at her little hands ah! like tiny hands really tiny hands her hands are like a little bit too weirdly small but it might be a 1950s thing where you know women's body standards were even more unrealistic than they are today imo i'm just gonna take the dress off and take a better look um at this okay gorgeous so there is a hook and eye what is this plastic band underneath here <gasps> you guys she has a bra on look at that oh my god <gasps> yes detail i was like what is that little blue thing that i'm seeing does she have a blue underskirt on oh wow i think she does um oh my oh my god oh, this is so cute i don't even know what to look at first wait 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 you guys oh my god how freaking cute is that so this is what y'all real vintage collectors are talking about i get it i'm also realizing that there is no joint between her head and her neck so her head is permanently in that position it cannot move her arms go up and down does her waist turn side to side nope her waist does not turn side to side that's it and then her legs go up and down I just really feel like this is the best surprise ever. Like, had someone told me that she had this underneath her dress, I would have been excited to see it. But the fact that I didn't know it all makes it even more exciting. You guys, look at the intricacy of that bra. It's so beautifully done. I mean, it is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very, very thin netting tool um, that is edged so beautifully in this light blue thread there's some beautiful scroll work that's happening there it's a bandeau style bra um, and then she even has little garter clips oh my god <gasps> oh and they look like they probably snap up oh my god they snap up 
Oh my freaking lordy, this is beyond cute. <gasps> There's her itty bitty hand and her little red manicure. So freaking cute. Um, I love this so, so, so much. And here's the back of her little bloomers. So there are the little shorts here. Um, let me quickly just pull them down or like this. I mean, I had sort of an idea, but this is just truly, truly magical. So in an effort to preserve the beauty of all this, I really don't want to undo this. Um, so I'm actually just going to keep it just like this. I hope y'all don't mind, but um, there's not much that we would see um, by taking all this out anyway. And I can tell that it's delicate and it could very easily stretch and I really don't want it to. So yeah, we'll just keep it at that. Okay, great. Um, let me just pull that down just like so. Oh, this is so cute. And then there is the back of the bra right there. It's an elastic, elastic strap just like so. And then you can also see um, her markings here in the back, 1958 body mold. So I'm going to attempt to take off one of her stockings because I just want to see what her um, feet look like because I feel like there should be a pedicure, but I'm just not seeing one. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Really no pedicure. Oh. You guys, this little dress is just everything. It's so freaking cute. I love all the details of this so much. It's a beautiful, beautiful taffeta. Feels like a poly or rayon blend. I feel like Barbie and Dior have had a long-standing love affair because this is identical to a 1958 bubble dress that Mr. Dior did. And it has a very similar silhouette, except the Dior one originally had a bow right here um, because Dior loved putting bows on the waist as he thought it kind of accentuated the waist and made it a little bit smaller and more dainty. There are beautiful little gathers at the bust there, the dart going straight across here at the bust to help give it the nice um, rounded shape. And then there is a seam going down the center of the bustier right there. It is connected to the skirt here at the waist and the overskirt is ruched beautifully here very delicately and then here in the back we can see that there is a gorgeous little bow here at the back of the dress which is concealing the hook and eye right here and then when you open that up there is a beautiful navy blue zipper how gorgeous is that the bottom skirt portion of it um, actually has the inner skirt um, on the inside here i'm trying to see if i can um, get that in the light so you can see. It's basically like a long uh, pencil skirt there going all the way down and then at the bottom of it, it is connecting to this bubble over skirt. That's basically how a bubble skirt works. Um, and then the inner structure helps keep the voluminousness of the outside from deflating. Um, otherwise, if this was lined in the exact same pattern, the whole thing would just kind of collapse and, and de-poof. But yeah, um, and then the bottom here, you can see where the inner skirt and over skirt connect. Beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship, wow. There is a bow here on the front of the dress. It can be a little bit hard to see when she's standing, but it's a beautiful little detail all the same. I also wanted to show you how her joints are strung. They're actually strung here by elastic. Um, so there you go, in case you're wondering. Um, she does have that kind of spring, both here and um, in her legs. So there you have it, you guys. This is the 1991 Gay Parisian Barbie. She is a reproduction of the original 1959 Gay Parisian Barbie doll. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to hit that little bell icon next to the subscribe button. That way you guys will be notified every Thursday when I upload a new video. Catch me on Instagram. I am at Suresh NY. That's generally where I post all my updates. Until I see you guys again, Barbie and I are gonna head on over to JFK Airport. We're gonna board a private jet and we are heading off to Gay Paris. <laughs> gay boy included. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Big hugs and kisses from me and Barbie here in New York. Mwah.
And I'll see you guys again next Thursday for another video, okay? Bye.